So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week three. If you guys don't know, I usually go over the weekly challenges and then we go over Eververse. So just in case you're not in front of your computer or whatever, you can just uh, see what's up and uh, plan accordingly. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's get into it. So the first one is just complete the story mission. I don't really have to explain too much on this one. Just make sure you kill at least 250 combatants and more than a weapon. Week three is literally the mission we just did, which is not even a mission. It's just do a a uh, heist battleground which is just super duper easy so that one's not too hard unless it also counts for the exotic mission which we do we did get an exotic mission and this isn't really spoilers considering it's literally in the seasonal challenges which is seraph shield one complete the exotic mission operation seraph shield to earn the revision zero exotic pulse rifle defeat combatants anywhere in the system using pulse rifles this is super dope um i just i just finished it right now and it was a lot of fun. Definitely going to try to do this solo flawless on legend. Uh, I, I, I hope they have something for us, like maybe an emblem or a shader. God, I would love a shader, but yeah, this one's not too hard. Uh, rapid loadout, defeat targets with pulse rifles or trace rifles, bonus products for defeating guardians, rapidly defeat combatants in heist battleground. Again, uh, if you complete the exotic mission, you're going to have a pulse rifle that you're going to have to use a lot. So you might as well use the new pulse rifle and rapidly defeated enemies. I just completed that like randomly. So not too hard in the cold light of the sun. Defeat combatants with solar or stasis damage in heist battlegrounds. Again, not too hard. You could probably complete this with uh, um, more than no weapon week three just because this one wasn't too hard to be quite honest or this one wasn't uh, and you can just complete both of these. Actually, you could probably do like these three right here. Just use a, a stasis or a solar subclass with maybe a stasis uh, heavy and uh, I'd probably use like a heavy machine gun uh, stasis or solar. I think there isn't any stasis so solar in, in this case. And then for this one, <clears throat> probably a trace rifle would be the best option. Yeah, uh, like a solar or stasis tra uh, trace rifle. So these two right here. Uh, Europa activities on Europa earn, pro earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. I've said it uh, a few times before, but I'll say it again. For these particular challenges, I like to just stick with public, or not public events, I'm sorry, uh, lost sectors and some bounties. And if, if there's a really fast patrol, I'll do that one, specifically the one that's just kill everything. I think it's the triangle shaped one. That's the one I usually go for patrols, just because they're super fast and just have to kill everything and not think about it. But yeah, bounties and lost sectors is going to be your best friend on this one. Close range calibration, calibrate close range weapons, sidearms, submachine guns, shotguns, glaives, and swords on your rope up bonus progress for rapidly defeating combatants. So again, you can double dip with these two right here. Actually, you can probably double dip with this one, this one, and rapid loadout. Uh, I would most likely just be using, uh, mm, actually, I don't think you can, well, you could. You would just have to be using like, let's say a pulse or a pulse rifle or a trace rifle for, for these one. And for the close range calibration, just use either of or like I would probably do a sidearm with a trace rifle just so that way I can complete both of these pretty fast. Primal entourage defeat taken in combat in Gambit earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. This one isn't hard. It's just it's Gambit and people won't be playing it because it's Gambit. I get it. But at the same time, like I will still do it because I don't really mind Gambit. I know people are going to be like, what? You're weird, but it's not that crazy. Ultimate champion defeat champions in Nightfall Strike on hero difficulty or higher on bonus earn bonus progress at higher difficulty tiers. I'd run this on hero. Like, to be honest, it's not that big a deal to me. If you have a team, obviously run it with them that it'll be way faster if you do that. But that's just me personally. And then last but not least, Scorched Earth, defeat Guardians and Team Scorch, charge detonations in mid air or on surfaces, earn bonus progress. This one's not super hard either. Just kill stuff with in Team Scorch. Team Scorch is like one of my favorite uh, modes just because it's a lot of fun. Turn your brain off and just kill stuff. But yeah, all of these are not hard at all. Some of these are just more annoying than others. Like for me personally, I think the Europa or activity and planets in general are just kind of annoying. Uh, but again, just turn off your brain, listen to some music, lost sectors and bounties is going to be your best friend, particularly for Europa. It might be a little annoying just because the uh, Varix is not like near anything. There is a teleport thing to him, but like I would just probably get all the dailies and then the oh, he does sell weeklies as well. So get the weeklies, dailies and then the the uh, the repeatables. 
and then just forget about it don't ever go back to him because it's not really worth it because by the time you're done with all the bounties you should have done a lot enough public events to like complete the whole thing so yeah let me know what you guys think which one are you excited for let me know in the comments below uh be aware that crucible does have bonus uh does have bonus things i forget what it's called yeah increased crucible rank so uh if you want I, i'm personally going to be playing a lot of it so that way i can get uh some of the things out of the way now but that being said i probably actually won't do that just because iron banner when iron banner comes out i'm going to be living in that playlist for a while so i don't know we'll see I'm, i'll either i'll be either in there a lot or just kind of like dipping it up for eververse we have a little bit of a disappointment in my opinion we have Annaline shock which is i'm not a fan of the shader personally like it's okay but we have ghost projection we have belly laugh we have ho ho hum and for the stuff at the bottom we have howling blizzard a transmat effect we have cold cheer this actually does look pretty cool but not cool enough for me to get it and i don't even use this weapon in, like at all so i don't i wouldn't get this silvering kestrel which is a ship which eh. We have Joy of Dawning, which again, I don't, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not really a particular big fan of the Christmas event just because um, a lot of the things I don't really like, like it's just too, too gimmicky for me. At least the Halloween stuff. It's like, you can actually use this most of it. I do. I do think some of it is a little gimmicky, but eh, whatever. Frosty friend, which is you just you building a snowman for shaders. We have Dawning Tranquility, which this shader actually does look really cool in certain armor pieces. Uh, for this, it doesn't look that good, but I promise you, it actually does look really cool. Uh, we have Donnie Festiv Festiveness, which is a decent blue. Like, I actually do like this blue. Um, I feel like so much of the Donnie stuff just blue and white most of the time. Donnie Warmth. Man, dude, like, I can tell right off the bat that the gold is the off color and that's mainly because the arms here and then the boots here only take the off color and obviously from the chest you can see there's a lot of color so the gold is taking the off color which is unfortunate but if that works for you that's cool i would probably just switch out the boots and the arms for something else so that way a little bit less gold is showing up and then donning hope i think i like this one yeah i like this one a lot it's super cool uh, I would recommend this one for sure. Again, just be aware the gold is the off color. Um, so just be aware of that. But again, I would probably just switch out the boots and the arms for something else. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys excited for this week? Like I said, the new exotic missions out. I think you have to complete the story mission first and then it'll pop up because it is actually. Yeah, that that's the case because it, it is part of the story mission right here. After that, you uh, get to reshape the weapon because you, I think, if I remember correctly, you can actually make this exotic. So it's pretty cool. I actually really like it. I might make a review on it. I say that like I, I haven't done any any exotic reviews in a while aside from armor pieces, but I really want to get back into making reviews for exotic weapons. Even though my, <laughs> even though like the the community I'm cultivating is more of a like, fashion based community, but I would like to have other content in my channel aside from fashion. So. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me, links are in the description below. Thank you guys a lot for all the support you guys have been showing. I really appreciate it. And yeah, just keep blowing it up and I'll see you guys later.